Okay, so um, today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make a wallet. Um, so, let's see. So, this is a longer one, um, but let's see how well it goes. And I know I typed up an entire thing for it, but I decided I'd go ahead and show you an actual video tutorial. Now I found out how to do that. But, uh, so you measure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I actually probably measured an extra inch in there since my thumb was jumping so much. But you want it to be about eight inches long. And then you tear off this piece. Now this is going to be my inside part, okay? So you got an inside and an outside to this. And you're going to be making something called the duct tape sheet. And you'll see what that is in a couple of minutes. So what I do just so I don't have to make measurements over and over again. I need to make sure these are the same size. Okay. Uh, so I have to make measurements over and over again is I'll normally just do that and match the two pieces up tear another piece tearing is a great method to learn I find it more accurate than the cutting using scissors to cut I do what I think I did there No, I think I'll live with it. I accidentally bent down one of the corners and now I can't peel it back up. Uh, let's see. I might tear off. This is something I like to do if I accidentally do something wrong with it. Sorry about all the noise. It's my sister and my dog. Uh, so I'll just cover that up. That. Since this is the inside, it's not going to kill it. Maybe if this was an outside, I'd be a bit more worried, but it's the inside. Okay. So you're going to do this till you get four nice long pieces layered up there. Ooh. Yeah, this is, this is Ace Hardware tape, not... Duct tape, I'm used to using duct tape, but, um, let's see, this stuff seems to be a bit of a different quality. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, after you get used to working with duct tape after a while, it stops getting so sticky to your skin. So, that's the lucky part for me. And then you got four nice strips. I'm gonna turn it over. You wouldn't want to flip it over and lay it face down on your table unless your table is, uh, you know, non-stick. So then what we're gonna do is you can either make a separate sheet and lay them on top of each other. But what I've learned to do is uh, what you're gonna do is you rip off your piece. So like this. as long as I need it. And you're gonna lay them down one strip at a time. You don't make an entirely separate sheet like I thought I would. I used to make entirely separate sheets and then just lay them on top of each other, but I found out it's a bit easier to work with if you line them up like this. Okay, so now I'm getting that done. So I accidentally tore this a bit wrong, so I'm just gonna tear off this extra little piece and. I'm sorry, it's... You know what, excuse me for a couple seconds, I'm gonna go get some scissors, even though I prefer ripping. Having a bit of duct tape difficulties there. Yeah, that was not... Okay, so I'm going to try to do this next little bit a bit fast to make up for lost time. Okay, so, 
continue doing this until you get what you need. You wanna give me a couple minutes. So eventually what you're gonna come to is give me a couple minutes and I will show you what you come to. You'll come to this. It's a double-sided sheet with only little sticky things right here. So sometimes you may want to trim these off. You don't always if you get it fairly nice. I'm gonna trim these off this time. So just trimming the excess off. And if you don't get your measurements as that exact, that's when you would probably want to get your edge trimmed off. This one's this side's not as bad. Okay, so then what you're going to want to do is, I'm going to do tie-dye on the outside. If I want to do yellow, I just fold it this way. I'm going to do tie-dye on the outside. So you're going to fold it in half like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear off a piece about the size of each side. So, let me go like this. Folded in half, not the entire, like, lengthwise that way. Size. Oh, shoot. I forgot something in there. Uh, this is the reason why these edges are sticking. Okay, so the uh, thing that I forgot to do was, before you do that, is you're going to want to tear a piece along that way. So I'll go like Maybe If you want to, you don't have to. You can tear it in half like me. Saves you some duct tape there. Just a quick hint. Okay, so then repeat the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now we got that. Okay, now we're gonna fold it in half and do that. Thing. And don't worry if you already did it, trust me, it's fairly easy to remove. some reason I can't seem to get these corners lined up and everything. There we go. And this is your mostly finished wallet. Now here's an addition you don't have to do. This is this is a good enough wallet if you want to switch off right now. But um, another thing you can do is add credit card or gift card pockets. So I'm going to fold it in half and uh, I'm trying to think about the length of a gift card or thing. I'd say this would be about large enough to fit a gift card. So I'm just going to guesstimate about where I would rip it off for a gift card or something like that. So then what you're going to do is you're just going to do the same thing you did for the wallet pretty much. Is you're going to just, but you're just going to use one sheet. You're going to use four. Just tear off. You're going to make one sheet by, 
Sometimes they get that excess. If you tear it too, then you'll know what I mean. Uh, And then that Just lay the two pieces on top of each other. Now this one you don't have to put that thing on the top at if you do want to, that's fine. So what I'm gonna do right there is I'll probably just do like this. Take a piece about as long as the bottom. Go boom. That. And then I'm going to rip it in half. I'll tell you why in a couple minutes. And then I'll lay a piece down here. Now, if possible, then what I like to do is I like to rip it in half like that. So I only have to use one piece of duct tape about as big as the rest of this wallet. And then, boom. And then you got your own nice little credit card pocket. You can make multiples of that, but as much as I want to make. Uh, so, it's your finished wallet. Thank you.